Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 186 of Wasteland 2. So we're following the footsteps. That's been a clue for us. Uh, our problem is... Our problem is that, uh, what do you call this? Why did uh, we offer up, you know, we have a problem with this, is that leader is the guy with the kiss ass and the smart ass, and we don't have those. So I guess, uh, in short, we need to reload the game so that we offer up somebody else so i think uh we are in yeah without the leader talking for us without those attributes i don't think we can solve this uh that's the whole point that he's the leader so in this case maybe what i'm thinking is uh offer up we will we will lead the conversation maybe with uh what rafi or joran or takayuki maybe with rafi rafi is currently the least important to us right now he he is not good at anything except toaster repair uh you know what so okay let us go Okay, let's have Rafi be the one who talks to the... I guess we'll have to repeat that conversation. So that he... Because, I don't know, we were not given a choice. Okay, we'll just go through this because uh, we know this. Depressed, Roach, help, escape. Okay. And then if they he would imprison a man for so small a crime, perhaps they aren't so civilized after all. Echo one, Santa Bay Bay, come in. Roger, Echo one, send the coordinates to you now. Okay, Culver City brothel. Why do you give it to us at Ten this point when we could have been doing that when we were out there traveling? Okay, we've done this. I'll stay as your hostage. So. Oh, we could have gone to anybody. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, yes. I did not realize that. We could have shifted from person to person, of course. Yeah, because when we had leader being the guy in charge... Oh, what happened? attention that Fletcher had the audacity to escape. Please keep your eyes peeled and report any until this manner is resolved. The execution will be placed on hold. Seeing as our guests, the Desert Rangers, are lawmen, they will be assisted. Wow, see, hard-ass 10. One of the Desert Rangers has even graciously volunteered. All I remember is a shadow, then a sharp pain in the back of my head. When I woke up, I think I saw a faint trail leading away from the cage. I know you can find it. Maybe you can follow it. Goodbye. Okay, now we have Scout. Examine. Okay, I think, yeah, we're back to where we started. 
let's talk check in with uh, I think Mr. Manners and we can offer the trade Welcome to the angel as we like to call it. Did you have a question gentle visitor? That is good news. Tell the mayor that we are interested. I'm afraid I need to hold on to my limited supplies. You see, I understand, Sheriff. I'm afraid I need to hold on to my lim our gracious project. Yes, Fletcher will be a it is impossible to be a good host without the cook says the heating element is partially worn out, so you can't make toast without burning half the bread. Ah, we scratched our home out of the wasteland and civilized the savages who farewell, gentle rangers. Hmm. Maybe there's such a thing as too civilized. Okay. Then we go back out. So this is what we have done so far. And we need to go to the back portion so that we can actually check out the trail. Logbook examine. So from back here, so somebody has been, okay. Follow the trail. Should we save this? Uh, maybe to four? Uh, examine? Dirt, rocks, and cement have sealed up this vent. Whoever did this didn't want anyone to find anything coming through. The mixture feels wet as if this duck was recently was filled recent recently okay uh you know what who's this person uh is there somebody we can talk up here to up here maybe uh we talked to that guard over there. Anybody? Oh, what's this guy? I don't think, no, we're just trying to see if there are people we can talk to that will give us any hint. Uh... Who is this? Oh, that's the wife, right? Uh, hello strangers, may I be of service? Fletcher, your husband has escaped. Know anything about it? I'm shocked. I didn't think he had it in him. Shocked? You don't sound as shocked as you should. I think you know something. I don't know what you're talking about. I all right. I just couldn't stand by and let him die. I got some friends to drag him away since I knew the poor fool wouldn't leave on his own. Friends? No way. I'm not telling. I'm not getting them into trouble. You think I'll tell you that? He's safe now, and I'll be joining him soon, and we'll be away from all this horrible Mannerite Robinson bullshit just and just be normal people. What? I was born and raised a Robinson, taught to respect power, but when we moved here, I married Fletcher, a married Mannerite, and learned how thrilling politeness can be. He's a sweetheart, a truly gentle soul. That's why I married him. 
Is it common for a man to marry a Robinson? No, it's not. But Fletcher is special. He's a sweet, lovable dolt. It's goodbye. Uh huh. What can I tell about Sid Civili? It was weird because I could have sworn it was Nick Chauvin and Gene Conk, but it couldn't have been. I must have been breathing too many syrup fumes. Robinsons don't, don't go on CE patrols. Ah, so these were the two guys that must have helped Elisabetta, right? A Chauvin and Kronk. Nick Chauvin is one of the quiet Robinsons. Not one of those pushy, in-your-face, loudmouth assholes. Oh, I apologize. That was rude. He works in the cafeteria, and that's why it was weird to see him in civility enforcement clothes. How about Gene Kronk? Gene Kronk hangs out near the water tower. He says he's in charge of keeping the pumps running. But seriously, I've never seen the guy lift a finger, and his hands are always clean. It's rude to talk about someone behind his back. They're definitely not a friendly bunch. Always talking about maximizing this and seizing that sounds like gibberish to me. Okay, so we have now a clue. We need to talk to... What is our... Skills. Kiss ass and... Smart ass. Ooh, 39, okay. I hope level seven should be good enough. Now, what should we be looking at? Save a man. Uh, Roger says he saw two Robinsons, Gene Kronk and Mick Chauvin, carrying someone towards the ventilation panels. They were wearing civility enforcer uniforms. We should question them about it. Okay. Uh, he says one works in the cafeteria. And the other one works in the pump. Where is the pump? Uh, Oh, here, where's Gene Kronk? Where are we? I think we went past him. Oh, yeah, we... Oh, he was the guy who didn't want to talk to us. Uh, when we were looking at the back of the cage, I think he's just right here. Yeah, that's the guy. This guy, right? Yeah, Gene Kronk. Okay, what can you tell us about Fletcher? He's gone. What about it? All I know is he was a dipshit who got smart and escaped some stupid ass rules. We know he's gone. We heard you took him out of the jail. Me? Sorry, man. I'm too lazy. That's what the Mannerites all say. Anyway, Tor is always telling me to seize my power. But I'm doing some powerful and relaxing. Oh, okay. See, if we did not, if we had leader here in as the hostage, we'd now be screwed. Okay. Me? Sorry, man. I'm too lazy. Okay. Lazy? How oh, fuck I told Elisabetta that wasn't a watertight plan. Alright, look, here's the spot on the map where we took Fletcher. Fletcher's hideout, okay. Uh how about Tori Robinson? Why would Tori care about you taking Fletcher? Uh, I should say I should have said and that's her business. You wanna know, ask her. You can find her in the cafeteria. 
She's my cousin, all right, and blood is thicker than maximum power. Goodbye. Okay, so we need to talk to Jean Cronk. What's the other one? Elizabeth? No, uh, Tori. Okay. Jeez. Let's finish the clues here first before we go and look for Fletcher. Because that's going way out there. Where is this? Uh, where's the cafeteria? I think this is the cafeteria. That's the hospital. Where's the cafeteria? Uh, Mason Cannon. Oh, the Night Terror. Oracle Gate, Gold Guard House, Water Tower, Goat Pen, Armory, Commons Kitchen. We just passed it. Okay, we just passed it. What is this thing over here? Uh, Sam the Cook uh, Posten. <laughs> Very close to poison. Welcome to the Angel's Cafeteria. Food is served in the afternoon and evening. At least it is when the folks on the farm do their job and my equipment's working. What's wrong with your equipment? Sam, uh, ah, it's fine. The salvage teams always bring back the parts I need when a stove or a fridge breaks. Well, usually. Uh, what kind of parts are hard to come by? As often as you see broken toasters just laying around the waste, you never find any dang heating element elements. Mr. Manners likes his toast just so, and since my toaster's heating element is worn, I can't get it right. He's a picture of calm, but I can tell you he's getting riled. Farm. It's right down the floor and the angel grow all kinds of stuff. Tomatoes, beans, potatoes, lettuce, soybeans for protein. Food. Uh, what kind of food do you serve? We're generally strict vegetarians here by order of Mr. Manners. But the farm grows a wide variety of veggies, so we don't get bored. There's also good clean water, and once a month there's courtesy meat for protein. Courtesy meat? Uh, you'll have to ask Mr. Manners about that. I just cook it. Pro protein is protein, friend. It all winds up in the same place, you know. What I mean? Okay. Ooh. Oh, smart ass. Ouch. I think we need. Okay. Uh, that is another area. I don't think we will get to that point again. Let's see if we need to invest the skills in smart ass. Wow. I wonder if we can get back. You know what? Okay, I guess we need... Man, I'm really, really, uh, whew. I think we just have to repeat that because smart ass, oh man, I did not realize. I thought, I was hoping seven would do it. Uh, okay, we just have to repeat the whole shindig again. Uh, we should have saved it before we talk to people to find out because... I really hate to invest like eight skill points for uh, for one perk.
I'm sorry I had to do this, so we have to go through this again. Okay, are we just five guys now? Okay, we've seen that. Let us invest. Come on, I'm really, really feeling very salty on this. That we have to do this again. Uh, whew. Okay, let's talk to who's this? Titicitus es faeto. Curus atus gamatem. Oh, we don't have hard ass, so. Okay, we did not need that, uh, so I guess Yi is the one who's gonna tell us. Uh, enforcers? Yes, uh, they were carrying someone between them. I think, I'm pretty sure they were headed towards the ventilation panels. Uh, Chauvin, Kronk, Robinson. Okay, then we go talk to Kronk, right? Oh man, sorry, I have to repeat this. <sighs> yeah, he's the guy over here. Okay, so he confessed. Okay, we know where he is. Okay, so they are related. Tori, Mannerites. Rowdy. Pick up your bunk, this, and clean up happy. Okay. Oh, before he got taken. Okay. Why do Elisabetta want him taken? I told you, I don't know. I didn't even think she loved the guy anymore. Goodbye. Okay. Then we go to the kitchen. Okay, let us save this again. Jeez, before... Good thing we saved it so that we don't have to uh, uh, talk to Mr. Manners again. Wow. If we were not so stingy with our skill points, we won't have the skill points. Okay, here's the cook. Uh, cafeteria. Oh, let's talk with the equipment. Usually. This is getting riled. Farm. Grow all kinds of stuff, okay. Food. Courtesy meat. Yeah, this is where protein is protein. Now we can do the smart ass. Oh, uh, why do I get the feeling you're talking about human meat? What, human meat? 
Ooh, what? You're telling me you've never tried it before? It's no big deal. It tastes kind of like pig. You gotta cook it for a while to get rid of the stringiness. Though it makes me wish we had fatter people. So, do you want seconds? Whoa, they're practicing cannibalism. Oh, man. Yikes. Uh, cafeteria. We're just, uh, well, just the seating rules. Over there's where the mucky mucks eat, and over here is where everyone else like, like you say, okay. Miss Courtesy Meat, yeah. We collect our own. Uh, the climate's good enough here. We don't have to ration it. Help yourself. Mr. Manners uh, has been a very good, set me up in the cafeteria, gave me the run of the place. I've never felt more useful. Looking for cat litter. I don't know. I don't want it, but no, that's a lot of them for his cats. Okay. Now we know they're practicing cannibalism. Wow. Okay. We better save this. Good thing we, uh, I knew something was, uh, I think that was, maybe that was, was that good? I, what's this? What do you want to achieve now, Rangers? Oh, Tori Robinson. My time is important. What do you want to achieve now, Rangers? My time is important. Kidnap. Did you have Fletcher kidnapped? They told you to talk to me? That's nuts. Seriously, did you have Fletcher kidnapped? Fletcher kidnapped? Fine. I just wanted you to leave me alone. But it looks like you're a smart, well-versed dealer in human nature. So, I regret that decision. You've seen how false and sugar sweet all these people are to each other. Here's to honesty. Honesty? Yes, it's true. I should have had Fletcher's abductor stay out instead of making two teams. But here's the thing. I want to depose the current regime of personal abnegation and denial and put a system of personal power in its place. Now, I'm going to trust to your discretion as a self-actualized individual to keep the nature of this particular strategy to yourself. And I hardly need mention that if you fail in this duty, it will simply be the word of a vagabond against that of a respected member of the community. You want our discretion? I think we can work a deal. You want to use the radio, I hear. I want the Coliseum. And no, I won't call it the Angel. What a stupid name. You help me take the Coliseum from Mr. Manners, and I'll make sure you get what you need. How will you take the Angel Oracle? Just stay out of my way. By the time the execution happens, things should be cooking along nicely. If they don't, come back and we'll talk. Wow, okay, I get- Rangers. Hmm. And if everyone sees his ultimate power, what then? Okay, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.